Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from July 1st to the 7th and I'm using this pink planner shop printable kit called something that I can't pronounce. It's Kali Spira, Kali Spira, I don't know. It's some European town, I assume. So if you know how to pronounce it, let me know. Um, but I chose this kit because I didn't really have anything that fit the theme of this week. Um, if you've been following along with all of my stupid dress drama, um, this was the week of the wedding for that. And then I also went to a friend's 40th birthday party and it was a pool party. So this kit was I guess the best of both worlds. It's a really pretty kit and I'm really happy I used it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love the fashion girl I used. She's a little like, I don't know. There's a, she's very pretty, but there's just something about her I don't I don't particularly love, but she fit the wedding theme, so I had to use her. And it she's she's pretty, so I don't know what the hell my problem is. I just I just didn't like her. I didn't like her vibe. I'm not sure. Um but this kit also has the big pool scene, which you can see, and between the like I don't know the food boxes the drinks the pretty girl I don't know it's as good of a kit as I'm going to get for a wedding fourth of July birthday party week um, I didn't have anything else that worked I checked all of my printables all of my physical kits and this is the best I could come up with and I'm pretty happy with it it's a really pretty kit and very pretty art so it's fine. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. It's been a minute since I've done a voiceover and this happened a month ago, so I don't really remember any of this. It's currently August 7th, so forgive me if I ramble or repeat myself or get something confused. It's inevitable. But yeah, a lot happened this week. I don't really I don't really know how to begin. Um, I guess we can begin with the with the littlest thing, which is the dresses were finally taken care of. Like my my search for a dress and getting my refund and all that bullshit was finally over. I can't remember if I mentioned it. I probably did, but um, the big order of dresses that I returned everything because I hated everything. Um, they lost it, like in the mail. Like it, it said that it was on its way to their warehouse and it just like never got there. And so they said that if I don't get it by X date, that they will just automatically refund me. And that was just really annoying because it's like a lot of money. And I ended up just having to like pay my credit card. And then once they refunded me, I had like a negative balance, if you know what I mean. So that was kind of nice, like using my credit card and, and the balance not going up so I guess that was fun but it was still annoying like they took a month like I literally got these dresses tried them on returned them like all within a week and it took like I don't know a month to get my refund anyway it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the whole online shopping thing has just been a nightmare as you guys know I'm gonna shut up about it point is I got my return that's all that matters but then if you remember, I'm, I must have mentioned this before because I'm getting deja vu, but the one dress that was returned to sender, they had the nerve to try to charge me return shipping for that. So I had to contact their customer service and be like, hey buddy, I didn't return that dress. I never even got it. You owe me $7. I am not paying $7 for you to not give me a dress. And they refunded me that as well. So everything's fine all situated, all finished with. And as I've mentioned before, I'm sure, um, I need to find another dress and I'm frustrated because it has, to, it's like a formal wedding. So it has to be a gown, like a long floor length, length dress, which means I'll probably never wear it again because how often do you wear a fucking like formal dress? Um, I do have one from my boyfriend's sister's wedding from like seven years ago. Um, but I was much smaller then, so I think I can maybe zip it up, but it will be quite tight on my belly, which, and my armpits, which I really won't like, but I'm still going to try it on because if I can avoid trying on any more motherfucking dresses for the rest of my life, I will be happy, but if it doesn't fit, it is what it is. So I need to just like face the music and try it on soon because I need to know. Because I need to get this stupid dress that I will inevitably have to have altered because I'm five foot two and nothing floor length fits me. Anyway, back to this week. Sorry, I'm I'm having a day. I'm having a week, actually. I'm having a week. You will see in a month's time when I get to planning this week, you will see. <sighs> I'm not doing well. Anyway, just try to remember this for when I start planning August, okay? You'll understand then. Anyway, back to this. So 
The other thing that happened this week was, yes, I went to the wedding and I've mentioned before, but it was on Wednesday. Um, the bride and groom decided to get married on Wednesday in order to save money. And they figured that since it's the day before 4th of July, a lot of people will have off of work the following day. But I mean, you still should take off Wednesday. So you still have to take off work to go to their wedding, but whatever. And it was in Lancaster. If you know where that is, like Amish country, it's very pretty out there. Um, and... Long story short, I'm not going to get into detail. Uh, it was like the worst wedding I've ever been to in my life. Um, I just felt so anxious and awful uh, that it got to the point where I could no longer like sit in the, you know, reception room or whatever the hell it's called and like watch people dance. It, it was like making me feel so shitty about myself. So I went outside and just sat alone. For like the last hour of the wedding just because I could not I could not it was just I was so upset I I just the whole thing was just not good <laughs> so I'll just leave it at that I my anxiety was through the roof and it just made me I said I would leave it at that and I'm not um it just made me miss like hanging out with my friends that I'm like really comfortable with and I can be myself around without feeling like judged or looked at or whatever. I don't know. Um, but on the plus side, uh, my hair and makeup came out great. I looked great. So at least there's that, but there's no photos to prove that. So that's also annoying. Nothing like spending an hour getting ready and then having no proof. Painful. And the dress looked good. Everything looked good. You'll never know though, because the two pictures that I got were taken by a guy if you understand like they're terrible they're terrible he took them from a downward angle like oh my god or like upward like looking upward at me oh my god fucking terrible anyway and my invisalign was in so my like teeth look fucking huge because yes it is invisible and it's not easy to see but in pictures when i have it in oh i hate it anyway doesn't matter doesn't matter oh my god i just i had a day it was not a good day um and then on Thursday, it was 4th of July, and a friend of ours, um, he tur his birthday is on the 4th of July, and he was turning 40, so they were having a party that day, and it was okay. It was good. Um, and then I was just in a bad mood a lot this week. Um, definitely the wedding, like, sent me over the edge. I was not in a good headspace that like really just made me internally spiral. Um, and then on Saturday we had plans with some other friends and that took all day. It was just a lot this week. It was a lot of socializing. And, um, I also had work on Friday. I didn't want to take Friday off, especially cause I work from home on Friday. So that would have been like a waste. Um, let me tell you, it was the laziest day of work I've ever had. I barely did a thing because everybody was off that day. So it was like, what, like, why am I even bothering calling these people? They're not going to pick up their phone. They're at the beach, but it was fine. Um, and other than that, not much else. I bought a bench, a shoe bench off of uh, Facebook marketplace and at Ikea, it's a hundred dollars and I bought it from this lady for 30. So that's, a plus. Um, but yeah, that's it. I can't imagine what else I have to say. I just wasn't doing well. I'm not doing well. Actually, I'm doing better now, even though a lot of stressful things are happening right now. I'm in a way better headspace than I was during this week. I hated myself during this week. I hated my life. I thought everybody else hated me and I thought that I should just run away and never speak to anyone ever again. You know, you know, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you, at least someone watching this has had one of those moments where you just stare, stare at the ceiling silently weeping because you're the worst, like, worst sack of shit there ever was. Anyway, that was how I was feeling. Let's get into the day by day. So starting with Monday, as per usual, I went home to work remote and I used a laptop from the kit. With this paper shire sticker, I marked that the picture above my work desk fell luckily the glass didn't smash because it's a pretty big big frame that I didn't feel like replacing um because it landed it like it slid down my bookshelf and landed in my chair so it didn't smash on the ground which was really nice but the glass did come out and because of that I like 
cut my finger open bad like I was gushing blood so I marked that I cut my finger with a once more with love blood drop and fortunately I didn't get blood on the photo or anything like that and I was able to put it back up but just do yourself a favor and check your uh what is that stuff called the the strips that you put things up that are renter friendly you know what I'm talking about check them every once in a while like so far I've had two command strips I've had two photos with command strips fall off the wall one smashed and I had to replace the frame. I still haven't even put it up because I'm so scared. And then this one fell. Um, and before you even ask, I followed the directions exactly. I washed the walls. I let them dry. I put the command strips up, took the photo off, waited the amount of time, and then put it back. And it still fell off the wall. So there's that. And um, right now, as I'm sitting in my room, I am looking at my most favorite art print of all time and it's in this really big nice frame that I got a steal of a deal on uh like I don't know eight years ago or something seven years ago I'm not sure like a long time ago and I will be devastated if this falls because I am sure that with the way that price prices have inflated since COVID like this frame will probably cost me like 50 or 60 bucks to replace so every once in a while I like push it against the wall because I'm so scared it's gonna fall Anyway, that was a long explanation. I cut my finger. Then under that with an emoji, this is a laundry emoji, but I used it to mark that I just had so much shit to put away. I had all of my stuff from the wedding and the weekend and groceries and just so much shit to put away. So I worked on that in between like work stuff. I also did my laundry, which I usually do on Mondays. And the sticker I believe is from the kit. With another sticker from the kit, I marked that I got my refund. That was what I was talking about before. With dumbbells from the kit, I marked that I did a back workout. Then I did the litter and swept and I used a Once More With Love Munchkin for that. These sneakers are from the kit and I use them to mark that I did 8,200 steps, which is worth marking on a Monday because I don't leave my apartment. So I had to actively like get on my walking pad and walk for like three-ish miles. Then with this audiobook sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co, I marked that I did a voiceover. Then I watched Sex in the City and this TV is from Sticky Perks. And then the final thing for Monday with this book that, um, I think it's the Prairie Planner. Um, I want to say my friend Alex gave me this sticker and she... What are they called? What are you guys called? When you make the, the, the thing, you, you're not an influencer. You're, what are you? You do PR. Is it PR? No, it's not. It's, it's a, uh, yeah, it is. Anyway, she does that for the, the Prairie Planner. So that's where that sticker is from. Moving on to Tuesday. The first thing I marked, wouldn't that be funny if I was wrong? I'm pretty sure that's where it's from. Anyway, moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked was that I weighed myself and this weight, this scale is from Planning Roses. Then with an emoji sweating, I marked that it was way too hot to wear black pants these this day. I don't remember why there was a reason I wanted to wear pants to work. And unfortunately, I chose black, which was a huge mistake. My legs were on fire the whole walk to work. I was just drenched from the, like waist down. Honestly, no, like the hairline down. Who am I kidding? But like, oh my God, it was bad. Then with this fight me munchkin, I marked that, um, they charged me for the shipping and I got really frustrated, even though they were nice and didn't fight me on it and gave it back. I had just like, I was just so over them constantly making mistakes. Then with a cringe munchkin, I marked that there was a weird lady at the crosswalk when I was walking home. She stopped me to try to like, I don't know, sign up for something, but I was on a time crunch and I just really wanted to get home. Um, and it, I, I just marked that it was like cringy because she was like trying to give me compliments as if that would like make me sign up. And she was very, very fake, you know? Like she was like, oh my God, yeah, like I'm 28. How old are you? Yeah. And I was like, I'm 33. And she's like, oh my God, like what do you do? Do you do Botox? Like tell me your secrets. Like I need to know your skincare routine. You look so young. And I'm like, okay, I need to go because you're actually making me feel worse about how I look because I can tell you're trying to butter me up so that I will save orphans in some random country. So once the light turned green and I was able to walk, I said, excuse me, and went on on my merry way and it was really weird the second I like looked at the crosswalk to walk she was like oh you're busy and she like her face fell it was it was very uncomfortable it was very uncomfortable it was very like car salesy but for charity I was just very turned off by it I don't I don't like people to like just 
anyway, then I went home and filled my tire on my car and I think this car is from the kit as well either the kit or SPC I'm not sure then with these sneakers from the GP studio I marked that I walked 10,000 steps this day this ice cream I want to say was from a freebie maybe Fox and Cactus and then this laptop is also from the kit I marked that I watched Sex in the City and ate ice cream in my bed and then the final thing for Tuesday with this hanger from Planning Roses I believe and then this squirt bottle it's either from the kit or just something random I've had stashed away. I marked that I steamed my dress for the wedding. Moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked was that I woke up early, of course, because um, I don't know if I mentioned, but Joe was, I, I've mentioned this before, Joe was in the wedding. So we had to be at the hotel by like 10 a.m. or something so that he could do photos like the getting ready photos. So I had to pack all of my stuff. And fortunately, we had a friend staying at the hotel and he gave me free reign and let me get ready in his room. Otherwise, I would have had to wake up at 6.30 in the morning to like even earlier, probably like 6 a.m. or 5.30 in the morning to get into full glam and then be in full glam until 11 p.m. at night. And I was just like, I can't do this. I might just like fucking drive myself at this point. Like I can't. Um, so that was good. I, I was able to just brush my teeth, wash my face, and then show up at the hotel looking like a homeless person and then get ready there, you know, take my time, which was good. Um, so anyway, I packed and I used a Carly Plan sticker for that with a paper shire cat. I marked that I did the cat care right before I left. Then I drove to Joe's and we both drove to Lancaster for the wedding then with this munchkin doing their makeup, I marked that I got ready at the hotel, which was very nice. With this wedding sticker from the Prairie Planner, this was my first ever Prairie Planner order. I'm planning on doing a haul, but will I? I hope so. Anyway, I marked that it was the day of the wedding. Then with this anxiety emoji, I marked that it was the worst wedding I'd ever been to. And by that, I don't mean that it was the worst wedding, like with bad music and bad food and like that. I'm talking about like, for me personally, it was the worst wedding I'd ever been to. Everybody else had a great time. It was objectively a good wedding. It was not for me. That's all I mean. Um, then with this tired emoji, I just marked that then we had to go to the after party and I was so dead I had not slept much the night before we had been there since like 10 a.m and it's like two and a half hours to Lancaster so it was just a long day um we I don't I don't even know when we left we left later than we were supposed to but I was on time like I was awake when I was I, I just had been awake for so long and I just wanted to go home and take my makeup off um and the after party room was freezing it was freezing it was just like a little gathering in a hotel room it was whatever. And, um, we didn't leave until one thirty in the morning. And I basically took a little nap on a chair until we could leave. And then with this stick with the plan co girl in a donut, I marked that we stopped at sheets and got donuts at one thirty in the morning. Yes, I know. Then moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked with this tired um, insomnia munchkin head was that we had been up until 4 a.m., um, because I think it took us only two hours to get back because it was so late, there was no traffic. Um, and then by the time we got there, I still had to like, you know, wash my face and all that jazz, which took about like a half hour. So yeah, didn't get to bed until 4am. Then with these angry munchkins, I marked that, uh, Joe and I were just annoyed at each other. He was annoyed that I didn't wake him up and I let him sleep. And I was annoyed that he was so mad that I didn't wake him up. <laughs> like it ended up being totally fine. We were at the party early enough, but um, he was like kind of freaking out about it. But anyway, we got over it. Then we went to the 40th birthday party and I used these old SPC balloons and this SPC deco to mark that because it was like a cookout pool party birthday party for the July situation then with this icon from caress press I marked that we stayed much later than we expected because the party was like an afternoon party so it was going to be over like I don't know like 6 p.m or something and we ended up staying much later than that oh I did forget something big that happened so forgive me another story's coming but anyway with this awkward munchkin I marked that it was an absolute shit show in Philly. And this looks like a frustrated munchkin to me. So that's why I used it. Um, 
we both kind of forgot. It just sort of slipped our mind that there would be like a big 4th of July fucking concert in Philadelphia at the art museum. And there was so much traffic once we got into the city. So much traffic. It was awful. Um, And then the worst thing happened. We were in one lane. And then this asshole in a pickup truck. I fucking hate pickup trucks. Slowly starts pushing into Joe's car. Like slowly hitting it. And Joe's beeping. And the guy's still going. And fortunately, all he ended up doing was pushing Joe's um, uh, rear view mirror. Like side mirror in. Because his bend. Um, And there wasn't much damage to his car. But this guy like fucking hit him. So then... Um, Joe like lowered my window to yell at the guy and he's like, you just hit me. And the guy who was clearly drunk, like clearly drunk, he goes, nah, you're in my lane. You hit me. And Joe's like free. He's like, I'm not even moving my car. It's like, it was physically impossible for Joe to have hit this guy because we were not moving. We were at a red light. We were not moving and we were nowhere near this guy's lane nowhere near this guy's lane he was pushing into our lane and moving and he just like it it's it's one of those situations that's so hopeless because you know nobody's gonna help you and this guy is not gonna take responsibility and he just was like no you're in my lane you hit me like no no you're the one fucking moving asshole asshole anyway we got his license plate and we also got the auto body shop that he works at i'm sure absolutely nothing will happen to him we reported it to the police because then we ended up pulling over and the guy like sped off so it was technically a hit and run um but i I know that the cops are going to do nothing they don't do anything when your car is broken into they don't care if someone hits you even if you have the license plate like they do not care um yeah, so I'm sure the guy got off scot-free, but I'm assuming that he is a repeat offender, so I am really hoping he gets pulled over and gets a DUI at some point. That's that's my big wish. Like, on my next birthday, when I blow out the candles, that's what I'll be wishing for. That fucking asshole. Anyway, so that happened. Then we finally got back to Joe's place, and... The streets were just packed. There were so many people out. Um, And we ended up going on the rooftop of his building uh, to try to see if we could see the fireworks. We really couldn't. Like, they weren't high enough, so we just saw the top of them. Um, And anyway, I marked the car situation with a paper shire car and this um, Y munchkin. And then for the fireworks, this is some random confetti from an old 4th of July kit and just a boop munchkin to mark watching the fireworks or attempting to watch the fireworks, I should say. Um, I don't know how I did this, but I completely skipped Friday. So forgive me if the audio is different right now. I am, (laughs) I'm at work, like in the office and it's just killing me because I wanted to edit this video and I don't have any of the audio for Friday. I just completely skipped over it. So I'm going to try really quick quickly to remember I obviously don't have my planner with me here so we're just going based off memory but um, the first thing for Friday was that I was just exhausted um I had stayed at Joe's the night before so I had to wake up early and drive home to work uh, and I marked that with this emoji breaking an alarm clock. Then with a laptop from the kit, I marked working from home. With this procrastinating munchkin, I marked that I just barely did anything this day. Like, I know I slack a lot. I mean, I'm literally doing a voiceover at the office right now. Um, but, like, today was probably my top most, like, do-nothing day ever. Then with this puzzle piece, I think from the Prairie Planner, um, I marked that I did this clear puzzle. It was only a hundred pieces, I believe, from the dollar store, but I wanted to do it this day because I needed to give it to um, my friend I was seeing on the weekend and I wanted to obviously do it first. So I did that and um, it's from the dollar store, so the pieces didn't really fit very well. 
but it was it was still fun so i'm glad i got it it was much easier than you would think because you could tell which uh side the puzzle pieces should be facing you would think it would be harder because they're clear but it was okay then with these airpods from the kit i marked my workout i can't remember exactly what it was but i believe it was a certain number of steps plus some sort of weightlifting workout and then the last thing for friday with this netflix sticker from sticky perks was that joe and i finished the movie that we had started the week before i believe it was reptile and it was just okay but it did take us two weekends to finish this movie just because we have not had time to watch movies lately as i'm sure you all have noticed from my plan with me's but but yeah anyway back to like normal audio Moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked with a sad emoji was that I just could not shake my bad mood. I woke up in a bad mood and was having a really hard time getting out of that mindset. With this melting munchkin, I marked that the heat wave was just in, like incessant. It just, not incessant, what's the word? I'm blanking on the word, but it just every single day was disgusting, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, but I just felt it was worth marking because this week was brutal. Then with an Ikea emoji, I marked that we went to Ikea. Um, Joe was looking for something and I can't remember what it was. And I was I wanted to go look at the, the shoe benches and see the price and stuff. Then with a grocery shopping emoji, I marked that we went to ShopRite and Walmart for um, grocery items. With this friends or family sticker, I marked that we went to our friend's place and had pizza. I marked pizza with this once more with love pizza box. With a tired emoji, I marked that we stayed at the gathering, get together, whatever. Way too late. It was fun. Um, so I'm not mad that we stayed late, but it was quite late. It was like one something when we got home. It would just would be nice. I mean, in hindsight, now I've finally gotten some chill nights where we just like watch TV, but I was really desperate for a night to like get back and not have to go immediately to bed. Like I just wanted to watch some TV and sweats, you know? Then moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked was that I had my Red Bull and played a phone game with an emoji holding bananas. I marked that I went to Aldi to get like produce items. I always get them there because they're cheaper. Then with this, ooh, is this one that I love? This one's more with love cat sticker, I believe. Um, I went home to take care of the cats. Then with this recycling emoji, I marked that I took the trash out and the recycling. With this star munchkin head or a modi head i can never remember and this sticker um what is this called this envelope the puffy poofy envelope anyway mailer with the <laughs> mailers from the kit um i marked that my missing stickers came and i don't think i mentioned this because i didn't want to say anything negative about the shop because if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time then you know that the mail and delivery companies in my area are like part of the mafia or something they're they are some sort of like mail stealing criminal crime ring i don't know but i don't like i didn't get my order so real quick what happened was i ordered from the shop for the first time ever off etsy and i never got my order and i got an email from etsy that's like hey did you get your order it was supposed to have been there by now and i was like fuck no i didn't so i contacted the shop owner and she was so sweet she immediately offered a refund or to ship it to me but this time with tracking and so obviously i wanted the stickers so she sent me a replacement order and then i got the notice that it had been delivered I got the notice on like Monday or Tuesday or something, or like even the end of last week. Let's just say it was days. It was like almost a week and it wasn't there. And I was like, all right, well, I'll give it a couple more days because sometimes the mailman like marks it as delivered because he needs to save his own ass and he didn't come, you know? So I kept waiting and waiting. And then finally, Sunday was my cutoff day. If it was not in my mailbox by the end of this week, I was going to have to contact the shop again. And I was like sick to my stomach over it because I was nervous that she was going to think I was like trying to get free stickers. And thank fucking God they were in my mailbox. Somebody, the post office, I don't know who, they had been holding my quote unquote delivered package for like a week. And it had not been delivered and it was I was like convinced it was lost because it had taken it like it had been so long since they said it was delivered. So 
yeah, this was my cutoff day and it was a big relief. I really did not want to have to contact the shop again. So I got the stickers. They're beautiful. I'm happy. It was a huge, huge relief. Then with this mechanic munchkin, I marked that Joe attempted my brakes, my brake pads again. And this was the day that he discovered that the calipers are so damaged and rusted that they have to be replaced. And that was my, my, uh, cutoff point with my car. So my car's done. I can't, it's, there are so many things wrong with it. I have to put so much money into it. Joe has to put so much time into fixing it, which is making me feel guilty. So I'm just, I'm done with it. I'm getting a car. That's just it. Um, and I decided that I am going to get a used car, even though I would love something nicer and newer because of where I live. I mean, I just told you about a hit and run just because of where I live. It does not make sense for me to buy something expensive or new and have car payments and high insurance payments when it's just going to get like beat to shit here. So I made the decision to get, just get a used car, pay in cash and, and like just drive it until I'm in a better situation to have a nicer car, but I can no longer wait. Um, I've just been hoping that my current car was going to last me until I didn't live here anymore, but that's clearly not the case. So it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, this was the day that I was like, okay, oh, well, then with this emoji carrying a box, I marked that, and I think it's an Ikea box. Um, I marked that we picked up the Facebook marketplace bench then with this paper shire food sticker, I marked that we went to this place called Black Taxi to try their chicken tenders because we've heard very good things and we had been meaning for like months and months to try it. And we finally like didn't have dinner plans and didn't have leftovers and like it just it just worked out. We just got it to go though. Then with this paper shire TV, oh, and it was good. I enjoyed it. This paper shire TV, I marked that we watched SNL, which we've also fallen off the SNL train. Again, we've just been too busy and it's like one of the less important shows to watch. So um, yeah, we're like almost an entire season behind, at least half a season behind, I would say maybe. I, I'm, maybe I'm exaggerating, probably just a half season. And then the final thing for Sunday with this confused munchkin, I marked that we just like talked cars and... Um, just talking out what my next move is going to be. And yeah, so that's everything for this week. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.